What's up, Vinyl Community? Clip the Vinyl Cheapskate here. You're joining me for another Friday drink of music. Drinking the Day Crush Session Sour Ale. And my amp is being crap right now. I think I need to clean the pots on this thing. I got it for free a while back, but uh, it's being it's being a prick right now. Yeah, you hear that lovely bass? Anyway. Friday drink of music. Tonight I've got a great topic. Uh, not doing a vinyl finds, only got a couple things this week, so it's not really worth it. I'll save that for later. Uh, tonight I'm gonna do a little bit of a just talking Japanese hardcore with everybody. Uh, kind of like doing I think kind of like a beginner's guide to collecting. Uh, what what I'm going to show is stuff that's that's easy to find to get started on collecting Japanese hardcore if you have like an interest in it, even a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some some stuff that's represses and stuff like that, like re-releases that are still easily available, like easy, readily available. Uh, also going to show some stuff that I think is like kind of under the radar stuff that's still real cheap and also a couple bootlegs so if you think that sounds good stick around I'll be right back I gotta grab something I forgot to grab it over. Japanese hardcore just like it's got its own feel and it's got its own like punch that other hardcore doesn't really have but what we're listening to I'll show off right now off the show we're listening to now uh, this is one of the staples uh, I think this should be in anybody's collection if they can get a copy of this just pick it up and the represses are a little pricey sometimes so Maybe not, don't start off with three presses until you know it's really what you like. But what, what we're listening to now, we're listening to Depth Side, Bet on Possibility. I'll turn it down a little so you can hear me better. Uh, Depth Side, Bet on Possibility. This is an excellent repress uh, on Feral Ward Records, which also does a lot of represses, but they also do. A lot of stuff that are uh, a lot of stuff just that's on their label that's really good. It's Yannick from uh, from uh, Tragedy. Uh, it's his label, so really cool stuff. They put out all quality releases, but these there's this and there's uh, wasted. Uh, what's the other one? There's this and the other one. But both of these, either one of these, if you can pick these up, well, well worth it. Awesome, awesome represses. They did a great job on the game fold with all the art. It's a beautiful record. Great starting point. Another one that I see everywhere and I think is another staple and should be in any Japanese hardcore collection. Even if it is this crap, one with the crap Yogi that covers half the artwork. But, still sick. Relapse re-released this. It's super easy to find. You can find this just about anywhere. They did it on cassette and CD, I believe. And CD, I think they did it on CD too. But Relapse, it sounds good. I heard people say that it doesn't sound as good as 
some of the bootlegs that are out there, but even the bootlegs cost an arm and a leg. And this, this can be had for like 20 bucks and well worth it. This gizm, gizm detestation, repress, excellent stuff. One of the best, best, first and best Japanese hardcore albums you can get. Came with a sick poster. I might hang this poster up. I might put it in a frame and hang it up, even though it is like the lyric sheet to the inside of the record too, but it's a repress. Who cares? I'm going to put this up later at some point. Pretty sick. And my copy's on white vinyl. I, I pre-ordered this on white vinyl because I wanted a copy forever and I just never see it, so... Eventually I'll get a bootleg of a couple more of their albums, but... Real good stuff. This is an official release, so... Check it out. If you can find this, it's well worth it. It's a good repress of an excellent band. And next, another... Another one... That's a classic, and these just, all of the, this, the gauze, all of the gauze records have been periodically being, being re-released over the last two or three years, so, sorry, my amp's being funky, my amp's being funky, I gotta take it to get looked at, but these have been periodically being re repressed over the last couple of years, and they're a little pricey. You can get them, I've seen them in between $25 and $35, depending on where you're getting, where you get them. But this one, this actually isn't one of the represses, I don't think this is a blue light, but I'm not sure. This came with a nice big poster. Poster, insert, type deal. Pretty cool, all black vinyl. That's why I don't know if it's a repress. All the represses seem to be on red vinyl, but this one's on black vinyl. But gauze, good place to start, and all their their stuff is being repressed over the last couple of years, so it's pretty easy to find if you look around a little bit and check some distros. Uh, sometimes it's on discogs, but this is this is definitely a starting point where you want to start. Like gauze, gizm, uh, depth side, definitely where you want to start with. Japanese hardcore. Another classic and another little tip is to find CDs. This is a press of the Stalin Bushi album. And this is my favorite Stalin album. I love Stalin. But look for look for some CDs. Hell, I think I spent maybe ten dollars on this CD. You're not gonna find the CD, the records for that. Even a little, a little CD sleeve inside of there too, so it stays nice and crisp. But yeah, look for CDs. Stalin, one of the original Japanese hardcore guys. Great stuff. Rest in peace. Another way to go to get some killer Japanese hardcore into your collection. Go with bootlegs, man. Uh, this is this is about the only new thing I have. All this stuff has been in my collection for a little while. But go with some bootlegs, man. You can't go wrong with some bootlegs. So I just picked this up. They had it on. Well, Total, we'll cover Totalitar because they're not Japanese. But the Totalitar this closed split. This is another classic, classic with some Japanese hardcore on it. And it's a boot, but you know what? I sold my original to a friend of mine a long time ago and he still has my copy, <laughs> which I still get a little jealous about, I'm not gonna lie. But this is a boot, but hey, Jet still has the same music on it. Uh, I don't know if this sounds any good or not. We'll check it out, I'll check it out later. I'm not gonna needle drop this. I'm gonna needle drop some of the rare, some of the seven inches, but. Disclose by boots, man. Like this one here, this Alto boot I pulled out. You can find you can find this bad boy for like ten bucks if you look around. And this is a collection. It's a collection of all our comp tracks. There's an LP and a bunch of comp, comp tracks on here. 
And there's another one that goes with this one. It's the Alto Clay Split. Split bootleg. I don't know. It's not a real split, I don't think. But it's got a collection of a bunch of their 7 inches and the Clay 7 inches all on one. And you get basically Alto's full discography just on those two. And it would only cost you like 20 bucks to find these boots. But yeah, bootlegs, I think they're a viable option for trying to boost your Japanese hardcore collection because, like I said, I'm the cheapskate. Final cheapskate, it's in my name. But hey, if I can save a couple bucks on a record and get a bunch of stuff all at once, and these sound good, they don't sound bad at all. The, the artwork is a little like, does scream bootleg, not gonna lie. But, <laughs> but the music on it's real, real good, so you can't go wrong. And now the fun stuff. This is this is gonna be stuff that uh, is it's Japanese hardcore. It's still really good, but for some reason it flies kind of under the radar, or the the records aren't expensive. And you can still find them pretty cheap for the most part. And you can boost your, your Japanese hardcore collection real easy with them. And here's just a couple examples of some, some bands that have cheap stuff out there. Now this one's also got, this is a, this is a three-way split here. Axis of Wolves, but it's got Nightmare and Crude, who are Japanese bands, and Burial, which they do Japanese-style hardcore. But this is a really good three-way split. All the bands are really good. It's got a cool gatefold with lots of pictures of them on tour together, on Hate Records. But I picked this up for, like, less than $10. And you know what? Well worth it. Now, Nightmare, they do like a more hardcore. We're gonna do some needle drops now. Nightmare does a real hardcore, like just like kind of straight up hardcore. Not really the Burning Spirits like we were just listening to. But the band I really want to show you guys is Crude. And Crude, their whole discography is relatively inexpensive. And it's pretty awesome. And they're really good, as you'll hear right now. Just good, super driving hardcore. Now this also came with a nice insert, a little noisy, I don't know if that's just my speed is screwing up or... or the recording or whatever, but crude, just like brutal, straightforward, hardcore stuff, excellent stuff, but most of their discography is very cheap. And another one that I, 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 uh, I put up earlier, I put up this in a video before, this was on one of my vinyl finds, the Colored Rice Man. What a great Japanese hardcore band, it has some, some staples in Japanese hardcore playing on it. And it's just really good, straightforward. Hardcore, but this has like horns and stuff in it, which throws some people off. But they don't bother me, it's fine. Really good stuff. And it's not like ska horns or anything, it's just horns playing with basically like a rhythm section. Really interesting stuff. But yeah, Colored Rice Men, another one you can find these in the And another one. Oh, 
another one. This is another one. We'll, we'll take it up after this one. And I'll be, I'm gonna needle drop on this guy too. Age is another one that's, they're from the early 2000s. Uh, this was put out on Blackwater Records. I think most of this stuff's on Blackwater. But these guys do like an apocalyptic, crusty type hardcore. Really, really good. Let's drop, let's needle drop one of those too. But yeah, they do a good apocalyptic, like kind of like a little bit of Amoebix type stuff thrown in there. Really good. So we'll do, we'll do that Ghost of Insanity, which is the last track on this side. This has some pops on it. This isn't my cleanest record. This song's called Ghost of Insanity. But this has a little more of a heavy, crusty, metallic feel to it. Pretty sick stuff. Japanese crust punk and hardcore or something like that and that's a really good video he shows some really cool stuff in there kind of inspired me to do this and Pack from Ground Zero Salem did a uh, like a round table with Eric and the Uncommon Power at one point I'll link that as well and that's got some great Japanese stuff and I'll just link Uncommon Power for one of them because he also has a really good knowledge of Japanese hardcore I've noticed on here. And I'll link all them below. And they're all shout-outs. Check out Eric Bauer, Z Ground Zero Salem, The Uncommon Power, And uh, Analog Attack is another good video. Another good one. Because he's actually a guy who ran a, he ran a pretty popular Japanese hardcore label. He, he ran... Uh, Now that I'm on camera, it's like slipping my mind. But what the hell was the name of that label? I can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember, but now we're gonna get into some seven inches. Uh, next up, and these I'm all just gonna needle drop, and these are all seven inches that are easy to find. I believe this has members of Deathside, the first band we were listening. I think that's who it was. 
This band rolls. Forward's pretty awesome. Uh, DSB, this is a band that I saw live a long time ago, and they're just more just like really raw, brutal hardcore. This is a band, I forget what they're called. That's the band name, I can't speak it, but the, the name of the EP is Judgment Truth, and this is another great one. This is what I'll put on now, because this has got a cool mix of uh, styles in here. It's like really like fast and kind of thrashy, but they also have like a little bit like of like a boy or UK82 feel to their music too, like a street punk feel to their music too, which I thought was really cool and different and a little pogo feel to it. But this is an awesome, awesome record. And this one, you can find for real cheap. Sorry about the player. But yeah, go for seven inches. You can find a ton of Japanese hardcore seven inches for a good price. If you look around and don't just go for the ones that everybody's looking for. There's a bunch that fly under the radar. That's basically what I, my, my biggest thing, is to let you guys know that there is an affordable option out there if you want to collect this stuff. This band here, Pack SS. There we go. See, this is like the cool, like little bit of like. Little poppy. That's cool. This band, Attack SS. I think they're Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that this is actually a Japanese band in them. There's so many bands out there that copy the Japanese hardcore style that it's kind of rough. Sometimes I have to figure out if they're Japanese or not. But this is really good. If it's not Japanese, if they're not Japanese, I'm pretty sure they are. But this is more of like a raw BB style. I'll put this on next. And this is, and that's another thing. There's a lot of, there's a lot more diversity than people think in Japanese art. Like, a lot of people think Japanese hardcore, they only think of, like, discos or, like, 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 death side style stuff. And that's all they think of. But, Gauze plays, like, a thrashier thing. This is, like, this is, like, poppy, kind of, like, almost street punky stuff. But with a lot of thrashiness in it, too. So it's like really like diverse is another thing I love about this stuff. Do attack SS next. Excellent thing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I slapped up some new lights since the last time I did a video. I'm really stoked about it. it. Makes my listening area feel a lot nicer. We'll do this. We'll do the A side. And this one's on Distort Reality Records. They're a I think they're out of Portland, Oregon. But they do a lot of like raw punky type stuff.
Yeah, man. Excellent stuff here. There's, there's a secret inside thing in here. But also, there's also, like, for re-releases, there's a bunch of them. There's the new Night, the Nightmare EP, uh, LP that just got re-released. All kinds of good stuff getting re-released on this stuff, and that makes me super excited. Chaos in there. Next we'll do forward. I'm just gonna play one song by each, and then we're gonna call it night. Uh, not much more to say. Just listen to it, man. If you like it, if you dig it, look them up. You'll find this stuff pretty easy. All right, let's go to the next one. That's really noisy, like kind of crash or crusty type type stuff and these guys are modern these guys are from i think this came out two years ago and i think they're still together did a split with frenzy they've got a bunch of stuff out cool band hack ss i really dig in them uh next up we're gonna do forward and like i said i think this is mem there's members of death side in this i think if i'm not mistaken i think it was death side maybe it was somebody else Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. I'm sure somebody will. Somebody that knows more about this stuff than I do. And we're going to put on this forward record. Put on side two. What's the meaning? This is side A. Side B is kind of the same. Just reverse color. What's the meaning? It's the song, What's the Meaning? These are all singles, so they have one song on each side. So this is a lot more measured, kind of almost rock and groove stuff going on here. Listen to this stuff all night long. And you know what? After this, I think I will. i to listen to it all night long. Japanese hardcore night. Next one's going to be DSB. This is the, the EP No Fight No Get. Uh, that I saw these guys live in like 2002, 2001, with From Ashes Rise, and they fucking killed. They killed it. 
and just fucking excellent, just straightforward, straightforward hardcore stuff. It's on Deranged Records, which is a really good record label. If you find stuff from Deranged, usually it's pretty quality. A bunch of the seven inches I showed last week were on Deranged Records. I think all those Observer seven inches are on Deranged Records as well. Very basic DSP. No fight, no get. I forget what the DSP stands for. It's like Demon System Bastards or something like that. I forget. I forget what it is. Alright, we'll spin one more song and then I'll let you guys go. And you see what I mean? Like, all this music has, it's got its own distinct flair to all of it. All, all of it really does have its own feel. Now, I may get the, the speed wrong on this. I don't remember. It's been a while since I listened to it. So, But it's all got its own feel. But at the same time, there's an energy that you kind of feel from the, the music that's kind of the same. And you feel, I don't know, you just feel the difference in it. All right, we'll start from there. That's close enough. And this is the song, Reject. Reject, Denied, Refuse. We'll see if this is the right speed. It may not be. Look, more secret inside the sleeve artwork. sounds right. Well, guys, finished my beer. Uh, I don't feel like listening to half, quarter, quarters and halves of records anymore. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Uh, check out the channels I mentioned, Eric Bauer. Check out uh, Ground Zero Salem. Check out The Uncommon Power. Check out Analog Attack. He does cool interviews with with staples in the punk scene. I've watched a bunch of those. They're real fun. Uh, cheers, guys. Bottom community rules. Drink some beers.